Hi, I'm Leah Iridium. I hope everyone's doing okay. So, reaction time. So, a song came out yesterday, Robin McCauley, releasing Standing on the Edge from his forthcoming Standing on the Edge album. It's a title track. Obviously released on Frontiers. What will we do without them? On May the 14th, this is when the album's coming out. So, quite a little while, uh, while to wait, but... There's quite a bit coming out this year, man, which I'm really looking forward to. So Robbie McCauley, obviously well-renowned in across the rock community, um, done a load of good work with probably my favourite uh, period of Schenker, Michael Schenker's group, when he, McCauley Schenker, was probably the favourite part of the Michael Schenker period for me. Um, released a brilliant album last year, Black Swan, super group with uh, Robin McCauley fronting the band. Absolutely amazing. This guy's voice is just out of this world. Another one of those guys, you know, the old rock stars that's keeping his voice just perfectly. Looking forward to this because, well, sort of a little bit apprehensive because sometimes when, you know, guys do their artists, do their solo stuff, they sometimes go in different directions, you know, maybe away from rock sometimes, you know, it's happened. So I'm looking forward to it to see if it's something he's going to do that's different or if it's going to be along the, I'm hoping, along, along the same lines as his rock, obviously his heavy rock stuff. Hoping it will be, but I've had my mate Mark Clower contact me this morning and say, you know, it is heavy rock. Got a bit of a dock and feel to it. So that's made me excited. I'll be able to judge that in a minute. I'll let you know if I think it has. <laughs> but thanks anyway, Mark, for that. Um, so, yeah. So, no, 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 it's got a dock and feel. I am a little bit excited because they're, they're, they're an excellent band as well. So, standing on the edge. Without further ado, let's get on with this. I will stop it halfway through, as usual, just to let you know. Here we go. Robbie McCauley, standing on the edge. <laughs> Nice riff. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's not love. <laughs> solo coming and uh looking forward to it because the guitar work so far has been outstanding well this is 
I am going to say, I'm going to stop comparing, obviously. I won't say about Dokken anymore apart from this time. Yes, it's definitely got a Dokken feel to me. It's not love, it reminded me of immediately. But, listen, you can't knock that song in any way, shape or form. I think it's brilliant. I'll tell you what, if Dokken bought this out now, Dokken fans, you know, it would be ecstatic. This is absolutely superb. Love that riff, man. And the guitar work going through the song so far, little intricacy bits, really like standing out that guitar. In my headphones, I can really hear those little squeals and some great guitar work. Um, I haven't seen anyone else in the band yet. <laughs> I'm wondering what's going to happen in the solo. I suppose we're just going to have this guy walking around like, this guy with his blue shirt on walking around like lost, whatever he's doing. I suppose we're not going to see the guitarist. That's the only thing. I've only seen Robbie McCauley and this bloke wandering around aimlessly. But um, so you've got on the guitars, you've got Andrea Sivoso on the guitar, Alessandro Del Papaccio. Am I getting better? <laughs> on the drums. Um, or was that on the bass? Fucking my handwriting is just like ridiculously bad. Howard Lease is doing a guitar on another track. I'm not sure. I think that's drums, Alessandro Del Papaccio. But so I haven't got a bass player written down for some reason. I must have missed it. But musicians, musicianship on this is fucking outstanding. Honestly, <laughs> it's brilliant. I, I would be so happy if this was a Dokken song. Oh, shit. That's the last time I'm going to mention Dokken. But I would be over the moon if this was a new Dokken song. Amazing. Obviously, let's touch on Robbie McCauley's voice. This goes without saying that he just brings the song even more to life than, you know, it's a great song. Don't get me wrong. I love this song. I think it's brilliant, but it doesn't he lift it? Anyone else, you know, with even half a voice of Robbie McCauley's is good, but he has got an outstanding voice. I'm so glad he's gone in this heavy rock um, direction. Hopefully the rest of the album will be like this. This is perfect for his voice. Absolutely perfect. I know he touched upon the bluesy side of it and Black Swan as well. I'm not sure if that's going to be on here on the new album, but I'd prefer it if it was all like this. Proper, straight-up, melodic, hard rock. Fucking love it! <laughs> it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Let's get on with the rest of this now. I'm looking forward to this guitar solo because that, that solo, the solo in throughout the song so far, the little lead parts have just been outstanding. So here we go. The rest of the song. Amazing. Absolutely love that song. Proper melodic hard rock the way, it, you know, it's supposed to be. 80s with a sort of a modern sort of feel and the, 
especially the production was great. I love the way the guitars are not overlaid too much. There's not too many, you know, guitars on top of each other. It's not like a wall of sound with the guitars. I could, I love that because I can hear everything the guitar's doing. Like when it was switching sometimes from one speaker to the other, especially when it went in just to the guitar on its own playing on the own, I could hear it. And then when it, it came back fully, but it wasn't too many layers. Absolutely brilliant. Videos make me fucking crack up. I mean, I bet this was like shot in America behind like the fucking, I don't know, Walmart or something. <laughs> he's probably just like lost himself after going shopping and then he's like run out of water and it's like the end of the fucking world. It's like, <laughs> and then Robbie McCauley turns up, obviously didn't turn up because that would be breaking social distancing rules. But nice that he found Robbie McCauley in, behind Walmart. Very good. <laughs> The videos, man, these days make me crack up. I mean, I understand that it's not all about the videos. It's not MTV fucking anymore, the way that fucking channel is now. But, you know, they do make me laugh the videos. I'm actually like that bands still make videos because there's not many of them done now, even if it is bad. I don't give a fuck. I, I, I like the, the videoing of Robbie McCauley. I wish the band had somehow been spliced into it, you know, even a guitar solo, seeing the guitarist would have been nice. But it is a Robbie McCauley solo album, and it's a fucking great song. It's a fucking great song, man. <laughs> I'll tell you what, more like that, and it'll be up the top there in 2021 on my um, best albums. Without a doubt, that is a fantastic song. What a way to, like, you know, introduction to that album that's going to come out. It's absolutely brilliant. Love it. Right, what do you think of this song? Robin McCauley's voice is outstanding. That You can't argue with that. What do you think about the... And I swear this is the last time I'm going to say it. Do you think it's got a docking feel to it? You know? I, I know my mate said it has, but I would have noticed that straight away. That riff was a, a classic docking riff. But why not? You know, there's so many fucking riffs. There's only so many riffs in this world. In the, <laughs> you've got to stumble upon some of them. And when you do an outstanding... Even the guitar soloing had that Lynch feel. The way he was working up and down that fretboard. Absolutely outstanding, though. I love it. I fucking love it. Thanks very much for listening. I hope you like this song. Let me know if you do or not in the comments below. And I'll see you next time.